Hey there, here in this video we'll be discussing how you can customize each part of the new commerce theme according to your requirement. So before we start, let me tell you in my previous video we have already discussed about theme installation and product creation process. Now when you visit your site, this is how it will look. You can see few sample data. Uh, now we are going to modify these data and make it fit for your purpose. So for that, move to your dashboard. Here is your dashboard. Go to appearance. Under appearance, you will find theme options. Just click theme options and you will be navigated to new commerce theme option panel. This is new commerce theme option panel. Under general settings, you will find custom logo. Uh, from here, you can upload your own logo. For that, just click upload image. Choose your logo image. Click open. Now follow the same procedure for Fabicon image. Just choose your image and click open. Now here we have got tracking code section uh, where you can paste the Google Analytics code or any other analytic code from other website to view the statistics of your site. Now moving further, uh, this is CAPTCHA section. This section will stop spammers from registering on your site. Right now it is disabled. Uh, to enable it, just click on. And now you need two key, public key and private key. For that you have to move to Google reCAPTCHA. Uh, just click it over here and you will be navigated to google.com reCAPTCHA there you need to register your domain and once you get yourself registered you will get two key uh, public key and private key just paste it over here and click save all changes okay now let's visit the site now you can see uh, over here um, your logo and favicon image now moving further, we'll change the slider and for that slider settings. Uh, from here you can manage the speed of slider. Uh, by default it is 8000 millisecond. Now first slider image. So just click and choose the image for your slider. First slider heading. Here you need to provide the heading for your slider. Heading for your slider. Uh, first slider description provide the description for your slider by button text okay if you want to change the text for the button you can write your own text like browse products and provide the link so now once your visitor click this button where you want them to navigate so like I want them to navigate shop page so I'll write here shop page and if you don't want to change the text for the button so just leave it blank and that's it click save button so I'll click save all changes and uh, um, you can provide same procedure for all the five sliders okay and then click save all changes and now let's visit the site now here you can see slider image, this, uh, heading for the slider, description for the slider and now the button text. Now moving further, uh, home page feature setting. For that, here is the home page feature section and now for that uh, home page main heading. So we'll write the heading for our home page section. So here it is, home page subheading. So we'll provide one subheading. Here it is. Now just click save all changes and just refresh your site. Now you can see get best experience and choose from over a million. The text has been changed. Now for the feature column section. Here is the feature column section box. From here you can upload the icons. If you want to change these icons you can upload it from here. Uh, first feature box heading. So like i'm writing so here i'm providing first feature box heading no for a description and hyperlink from where you want to redirect your customer you can follow the same procedure uh, for the second and third feature and click save all changes and just refresh the site you can see customer satisfaction and the description now home page category section uh, home page category section 
right now you can see uh, all the category over here but if you wish to uh, showcase only particular category that you can manage from this section uh, all you need to do is just click the categories that you want to display on home page and click on save all changes and now once you refresh your site you can see affiliate products digital products and physical products now home page block feature section uh, just provide the block feature section heading so recent news and description for the blog page section so here is the description and click save changes now again visit your site here recent news and know about the latest trends now moving further styling option uh, here we have got seven pre-built color option you, you can choose that fit your requirement so right now I'm selecting red social icon uh, here you can provide the social URL uh, so social URL and click save all changes now once you refresh your site you can see here all the social icons over here on footer now footer setting uh, here you can provide the text for your footer footer text so right now it's all right reserved so if you wish to write here your own footer text and click save changes right now it's 2016 copyright in themes just see footer text has been changed now SEO options um, meta keywords uh, here you need to write the keywords that are related to the content of the website it will help you with the ranking uh, here you need to write short description uh, that will help search engine to figure out exactly what your site is all about and this is meta author name so you can enter the content and the text according to the, your website and help your site to get ranked and now we have got through all the settings and now click once you've done with all the setting click save all changes and visit your site so this is how uh, your site is exactly look and you can see we change the logo uh, we change the slider slider text it's button text categories and feature section footer section and all um, this is how you can use the theme option panel